Spooky 2 FAQ V1.1-19 May 2015 Our Users and Team Table of Contents Spooky 2 Software 1 Spooky 2 Settings 5 Spooky 2 Generators 11 Spooky 2 and Spooky Remote 15 Spooky 2 Accessories 28 Spooky 2 Biofeedback 33 Spooky 2 General 36 Spooky 2 Setups 43 Spooky 2 Glossary 47 Spooky 2 Thanks 53 Legal Notice and Disclaimer 54 Can I use Windows 8? Spooky 2 software will run on all recent versions of Windows. The original software Spooky 1.24a ran on Windows 7 and Windows XP. The UDB drivers don't work with Windows 8. Either use Windows 7 slash XP or upgrade your generator S to Spooky 2 XM models. To make Windows 8 behave and appear more like Windows 7, download and install the free classic shell program from this link. Can I use my Apple Mac instead of a Windows PC? In theory, yes, you can buy using Bootcamp to create a Windows partition, or purchasing virtualization software. In practice, however, we've found that the more layers of abstraction you add to any system, the more likely it is that problems will arise. And unless you're a seasoned Mac and Windows troubleshooter, you may find that tracking causes and finding solutions is more trouble than it's worth. We recommend that you buy a cheap Windows netbook or used desktop model, and dedicate it to running your Spooky2 system. However, if you wish to try the Mac route, please download Spooky2 Inches Linux or Mac from here. How do I install the Spooky2 software? The full installation routine is shown in the Spooky2 manual. But briefly, download the installer from here. Unzip the file and double-click it. The installation will start. You will be asked to choose a language. Choose I agree to the license agreements. Several other shortcut and directory location questions will be asked. When done, you'll be asked to launch Spooky2. When you do, the driver installer will launch. If you're upgrading an existing installation, the installer may report that no changes were made, this means your driver is up to date. Back to contents 1 What are drivers for? Drivers are small pieces of software that are required to allow your PC to communicate via USB with the generator S. They are usually required for all external devices that connect to a PC. The CP210X USB to UART bridge driver is required to communicate with any Spooky 2 XM generator model. The PL2303 USB to serial driver is required only if you are using a UDB1108S generator, or you're running both models in your Spooky2 rig. Instructions for installing this manually are contained in the Spooky2 user's guide. How do I start using Spooky2? Make sure all your generators are connected to the PC and their power switches are on, the LCD panel will be lit. Next, launch Spooky2. The software will search for generators connected to the PC. Once all the generators have been detected, the Spooky2 main screen will appear. A colored channel button on the lower portion of the screen will represent each generator found. If you have four generators connected to the PC, you should see four buttons. Does the X waveform value of a dual function? Yes. First, it can make multiple copies of a wave. This allows Spooky2 to create complex waveforms like the damp sinusoidal, H-bond square, and others. Second, it allows us to greatly increase the generator's top frequency limit up from 5 mHz to 25 mHz and above. This is called wave cycle multiplication, and it's unique to Spooky2. Back to contents 2 after about 28 hours my PC shuts down. I set it to never sleep or shut down unless I do it manually. What's happening? It's not possible for Spooky2 to instruct your PC to shut down, it has no commands for this. Set Windows Update not to download and install updates. Keep laptops plugged in always, and set them never to sleep either when powered or on battery. If something goes wrong with your laptop's power supply, it will switch to battery and use those sleep settings. Spooky2 settings having to search for and reload all my frequency sets every time I turn Spooky2 on is painful. Is there an easier way? Spooky2 remembers all your settings and the frequencies that you used the last time you ran it. So there's no need to search and reload, 
simply ensure that the Allow Channel Overwrites checkbox is NOT ticked, click the red channel button, and you'll see all your previous sets in the channel control panel. Why can't I change my repeat settings in Spooky 2? Each time I enter the numbers I want, they change back to what they were before. Settings cannot be altered in Spooky 2 if the colored channel control panel is open, or if a program is actually running. You should always enter the settings you desire before clicking the red button to open the channel control panel. Also, make sure that the Allow Channel Overwrites checkbox is ticked so that your new settings can be applied. Some people use voltage settings as low as 1 or 2 volts. Isn't this much too low for a Rife machine? It is too low if you wish to use contact mode with electrodes, which requires a setting of 14-20 volts for cell penetration. But it's fine for remote mode because you only need to penetrate the fingernail in the transmitter, not the entire body. Back to Contents 3 using the DNA in the fingernail as targeting information, the spooky remote scalar wave transmitter then narrowcasts the signal directly to every cell in the subject's body that contains DNA. 2 volts was actually found to be the optimum power setting during Spooky's original development phase. The original Spooky remotes were designed for 4 volt operation, and the new V1.1 Spooky remotes can operate safely at 20 volts without a Herxheimer reaction. Is there a limit to the amount of scalar power a person's DNA can handle without damage? Is there a risk of harm, and is there a limit to the voltage that can be safely applied in remote mode? Applying 20 volts to a spooky remote will produce no adverse effects. The scalar wave generation is more efficient but the strength of the changing magnetic field is still low. We are unsure of the maximum voltage that can be safely applied but we do not recommend a setting greater than 20 volts for everyday remote use. Does inverted sawtooth have similar harmonics to square waves? And why have some users said that with inverted sawtooth the duty cycle must be set at 49%? Inverted sawtooth waves use every harmonic refer to harmonics in the glossary but square waves only use odd harmonics. The duty cycle setting is only necessary for the older UDB generator and is set automatically for it by Spooky2. What is phase angle and how can it be used in treatment healing, detox, pathogens? The phase angle is the angular difference between the signals of the outputs of the generator. The function is used mainly to produce a special signal pattern from the outputs when they are running the same frequency, and can be set to zero for almost all everyday Spooky2 applications. Back to Contents 4 Why can we see the graphics change when altering the duty cycle? Only square waves can have a duty cycle other than 50%. This is a law of physics, not a spooky 2 limitation. The duty cycle is shown in the waveform graphics for square waves. How do you determine that changing the duty cycle from the standard 50% to say 93% would be beneficial? Changing the duty cycle alters the square WVE harmonics that are created by the generator. A duty cycle of, say, 93% will reduce the power of many harmonics. As with any leading-edge system, it is best to experiment and compare your results with other users to determine the optimum duty cycle. What's the difference between a spooky spectrum sweep and a spooky converge sweep? What do they each do? A spectrum sweep outputs multiple simultaneous frequencies by generating a sweep on each output. The sweep on out 1 ascends from OHz to 3.2 mHz, and the one on out 2 proceeds from OHz to 800,000 Hz. This smaller range is very fine-grained and targets the wave when where most pathogens live. The converged sweep combines two simultaneous spectrum sweeps, both sweeping in opposite directions simultaneously. Converged sweeps prevent pathogens from becoming accustomed to a generic frequency sweep by attacking the pathogen from both sides. I want to set up a Spooky2 lab with 100 generators for remote healing. Can you advise me on what I need? We suggest you purchase 11 USB hubs similar to the one here. The first one will feed the other 10 inches a daisy chain. This will provide 100 USB ports with which to control the generators. Back to Contents 5 the generators are best run on their sides when there are multiple units. It's easier to read the displays and connect the spooky remotes. Allow some space around the generators for cooling and access to the output ports. 
Keep the USB and power cables behind the generators. This keeps everything nice and tidy. How do I make screenshots to send to someone by email? 1. Click on the camera icon to take the photo. 2. Set the option to include the screenshot in the email. 3. Enter the destination email address. 4. Click send email. Back to content 6 are my settings correct for running the checker sets? The sets in your program haven't been loaded in the correct order. This should be, base sacral solar plexus heart throat third eye crown crown third eye throat heart solar plexus sacral the crown set is loaded twice. This set and instructions were provided by a member of the Spooky2 forum who is an Ayurvedic doctor. It covers the full meridian path for coiled power. It should be run once in 24 hours. When finished, you must collect the power instructions below. Application of the Chakra Program 1. Disconnect your Spooky Boost and attach Spooky Remote directly to out one of the generator. 2. Make the following settings in Spooky 2, back to Content 7 Program Options Frequency Multiplier 1 Repeat every Freq 3 Repeat each set to Repeat Program 1 Dual Multiplier 1 Amplitude Wobble Disabled Frequency Wobble JDLS ABED R Reduce Amplitude 10 kHz V4 Hz Gate P Randomized I Skip Concurrent Duplicate Freq Remove Duplicate Frequencies V Override Pause Scheduler Prevent Global Start Duty Side Amplitude Offset Phase Angle F2 Equal F1 Hz Out 1 55000% percent out 2 frequency limits 50% hertz apply 5 v e more than 0 octal 0% 0, 0 c scalar 0, 0 apply 16 steps frequencies directly i add fi to f212 ici1 carat multiplied by carat cicc rar 16 steps qon q sort frequencies 3 out 2 control out 2 equal out 1 out 2 equal out 1 copy gate waveform 1 plus 0 1 Volts F slash stop when out one stops hertz LM MBX BY JBX BY follow out one spike plus sync inverse plus sync spike spectrum X length ratio percent RI 0 2 0 RI 0 2 0 RI 0 2 RI 0 2 RI 0 2 R N 0 2 R N 0 2 R 16 0 2 R 16 0 2 I 1 1 0 2 0 I 1 1 0 2 0 7 plus spike W V spike count 0 back to contents at the conclusion of your session you must always bring the energy back to your navel and collect it. Collecting the energy gathers up the excess chi ki in the body and stores it in the navel. This collected energy is utilized by the body's own intelligence, as and when required. It protects your organs from accumulating too much energy. To do this, concentrate on your navel as you place your right fist there. Then rotate your fist 36 times clockwise around the navel allowing the circle to grow larger until it is no more than 6 inches in diameter not higher than the heart nor lower than the pelvis. Then reverse the direction and rotate 24 times in a counterclockwise direction, gradually shrinking the circle until it returns to the navel. See the drawing on the next page. 8. Note that a woman must reverse the order of rotation, first rotating counterclockwise 36 times, then reversing the direction and shrinking the circle while rotating clockwise 24 times back to the navel. To determine direction imagine a clock at your navel. Eventually you will learn to direct the chi with your mind and will not need your fist to help you guide it. Also, if you are short on time you can collect the energy 3 or 9 times, reversing it the same number of times. Which waveforms are good for healing and which are good for killing pathogens? As a general guide, Square waveforms are best for healing, and inverse sawtooth waveforms are best for killing. There are many other waveforms that may function more effectively, such as the Papimi waveform. Do I need to use a different waveform for contact and remote? No. Are the frequencies set to stop after the runtime or do they run indefinitely until they are stopped? Set the repeat program setting to 1 if you want to run it once. If it is set to 0 it will run until you click stop. Back to Contents 9 Why do changes to my settings seem to disappear each time I open a channel? This tells Spooky2 that you wish to overwrite the last saved settings for the channel with those you've just made. You should use the Allow Channel Overwrites and Every Time options carefully and mindfully, otherwise you may have unexpected results, or even lose your settings. 
Back to Contents 10 Spooky 2 Generators How do I connect the generator to my PC? Connect the UDB1108S using the supplied USB cable. This unit doesn't need a power supply. An XM should also be connected in the same way. The XM also requires an external 5V power supply included with each generator. Plug this into a wall outlet and the other end into the socket labeled DC5V on the generator. Ensure the generator power switch is ON. What's the difference between the Spooky 2 XM and the UDB1108S generators? The original Spooky software was designed to drive the UDB1108S frequency generator, a fine little 8MHZ machine, despite one or two minor niggles. Since Spooky was initially released back in early 2013, the team have been in constant contact with its manufacturers with design input for their newest frequency generator. The result is the vastly superior Spooky 2-5M generator. Offering the ability to create brand new waves in software, the Spooky 2-5M is the model we recommend. The Spooky 2 software drives both the XMs and the UDBs, but many of its important and powerful new features are only enabled if you're working with the Spooky 2 XM generators. How should I set the controls on the frequency generators? Spooky 2 has been designed for complete software control of both frequency generators. On the UDB1108S, the only physical controls you ever need to touch are the power button, the minus 32 decibels button that should always be disengaged, and the amplitude and offset knobs while calibrating. Otherwise, please don't touch unless you know what you're doing. Back to Contents 11 Can I use Spooky 2 to program out and out 2 on my XM generator independently? No generators are dual output devices, not dual channel. Dual output is more powerful and versatile task it allows you to perform operations that will considerably beef up your signal in terms of power and effectiveness. I notice that the UDB1108S has an upper frequency limit of 8 mhz. Is this range big enough? There are no original life frequencies over 4 mhz. Approximate ranges are Molds and Mycotoxins, 75-215 khz 75,000-215,000 Hz bacteria in most viruses, 275-450 khz 275,000-450,000 Hz protozoa, roundworm, and flatworm, 325-480 khz 325,000-480,000 Hz warts. 400-475 khz 400,000-475,000 hertz tapeworms, 425-515 khz 425,000-515,000 hertz mites, 675-880 khz 675,000-880,000 hertz There are only a very few viruses, mostly flu, which exist up around the 3 khz plus range so 8 mhz is fine. Note that these ranges quoted are very useful for programming spooky pulse biofeedback scan sessions. However, our new research on converting light wavelengths to frequencies is now yielding excellent results. The most powerful subharmonics of such frequencies are very high, but can be transposed down below to 8 mhz for use in the UDB1108S. The Spooky 2 XM generators can use the revolutionary new software algorithms built into Spooky 2 to boost the top limit to at least 25 mhz without loss of amplitude or waveform distortion. My UDB1108S came with a 2-pin power plug. What do I use this for? This plug is included for standalone use of the USB1108S in non-rife scenarios. It's not needed with Spooky 2 because your PC supplies power to the UDB1108S through the USB cable. Don't discard it, it may come in handy for something else. Back to Contents 12 I have a lot of health problems I want to experiment with. Can I use two frequency generators running at the same time on myself? Yes, you can certainly use multiple generators. We call this parallel pathogen processing and it's unique to the Spooky 2 Rife system. In fact, we currently recommend using four or more generators in cases of late-stage cancer, Lyme disease, Morgellons disease, and other synergistic multipathogen conditions. These can all be controlled from one PC. 
Multiple generators also allow you to work on different unrelated issues at the same time rather than singly. I want to test my Mobius coil with Spooky 2. What is the minimum resistance allowed on the Spooky Boost cable output? The minimum resistance is 0 ohms. The 5M generator is designed to handle continuous short circuits. Obtain a replacement display circuit board from Echo Lee here. Replacing the display only takes a Phillips screwdriver and about 5 minutes. Back to contents 13 what does the signal generator do? The signal generator receives commands from the Spooky 2 software and converts the instructions into an electrical signal. Is there a significant difference in effectiveness between generator XM10M versus XM20M? You only need a 5M generator. There is no difference in output signal waveform quality between the different generator models. When a problem occurs, how do I know if the fault is in the generator or software? You can view the status bar at the bottom of the main screen. This will show any communication errors. Generally these types of errors are due to an incorrectly installed driver or faulty cable. If a generator fails, it is usually the USB chip. These can be easily replaced with a kit from our purchase site. Is it safe and or necessary to use Spooky Boost with 5M, 10M, or 20M generators? Spooky Boost is used to increase the power of any of the models of generators by a factor of 4. This is good for both contact and remote modes. How does Spooky 2 compare to the named Rife machine? It's Spooky team policy never to comment on the efficacy or quality of any other Rife systems. The only thing we will say is that, unlike others, our system takes Dr. Rife's original discoveries and couples them with 21st century technology and scientific thinking, not those of the 1920s and 1930s. Back to contents 14 I touched buttons on my Spooky 2-5M generator but didn't save the settings. Will the generator reset after turning off? Yes. The generator will return to the factory default settings after rebooting. But please don't adjust generator controls. Spooky 2 and Spooky Remote If DNA is left in a remote with a magnet, but without running frequencies, will the magnet still influence that person's body through the DNA? This is open to debate, as only changing magnetic fields seem to have biological effect. The magnetic gradient across a DNA sample is negligible. Fixed fields do have an effect, but this is not as great. I've noticed that one of the LEDs on my spooky remote sometimes seems brighter than the other. Is something wrong? Don't worry, there's nothing broken. The spooky remote LEDs respond to and mirror exactly the shape of the waveform you're transmitting. Normally, all waveforms have two phases, a positive one, and a negative one. If you look at any wave, you'll see that it rises, and it falls. When it's rising, it's going positive, and when it's falling, it's going negative. During the positive going phase, only the left LED lights, and during the negative going phase, only the right one illuminates. If you examine the shape of either of the sawtooth waveforms, you'll find that one of its phases is a long slow rise or fall, while the other is an almost instantaneous rise or drop. Since the LEDs reflect the shape of the waveform, the result is that one of them will appear to be dimmer than the other any time you are using a sawtooth waveform. What spectrum and F2 equal F1 settings do you recommend for healing programs? None. These settings are useful only for killing pathogens or pathogenic cells, not for healing. Back to contents 15 I can't figure out these spooky remote LEDs. Sometimes they both look equally bright, and other times they blink very slowly, first one side and then the other. I've even noticed that they also fail to light up at all sometimes. What's going on? The spooky remote LED state is governed by two things, the wave shape and the speed of the frequency. What you're seeing is how the frequencies control the LEDs. The first thing to understand is that the twin LEDs are never actually both lit at the same time, despite what your eyes tell you. Every waveform has a positive and a negative phase, and each phase lights one LED. Since a wave can never be positive and negative at the same time, the LEDs can never both be lit at the same time. Frequency is measured in Hertz Hertz, which used to be called cycles per second CPS. 
a 1 mhz frequency will cycle the waveform from positive to negative and back once every second. With a low slow frequency like 0.5 Hz, the wave's polarity flips from positive to negative once every 2 seconds, so the LEDs will light alternately and slowly. With a frequency of 60,000 Hz, the polarity flip happens 60,000 times every second, far too fast for your eyes to register. So both LEDs now appear to be equally bright. With a very high frequency like 7 mhz, the state is flipping 7 million times a second. And this is simply too fast to allow either LED to even respond to the LED on command before the next LED off command is received. So the LEDs appear to be unlit. But they'll return to normal with the next mid-range frequency. The two lights on my spooky remote are rapidly blinking alternately. Is this okay? Yes. They blink alternately because the signal changes from positive to negative with each wave cycle. Some waveforms only light one LED, and many frequencies are too fast to see flashing. Programs with 100% offsets only light one LED. Can the VL1 Spooky Remote be run with a lower amplitude than 20V and still be effective? What is the effect on scalar wave transmission if run at 5V for example? Yes, but it all depends on the other settings. Please see the third question in the Spooky 2 settings section here. Spectrum back to content 16 requires greater amplitude because the power is shared across multiple frequencies. When using a Spooky Spectrum type sweep, can I set offset to 200%? Or duty cycle to 93%? Using an offset reduces the amplitude, and is not advisable. A 93% duty cycle is not the best duty cycle for killing pathogens while using a subharmonic frequency. Note that settings for spectrum sweeps should MOT be altered. Since Spooky Remote VIL-1 is more effective than other remotes, what dwell time should we use? And how about repeats? Many users shorten the default dwells to approximately one-third by entering a value of 0.33 in the dwell multiplier fields and use repeat values of 44 sets, and 5-34 programs, depending on the condition. Others prefer to use the default dwells for most frequency sets, with repeats of 14 sets and 4-10 for programs. There's merit in both approaches. As always with Rife, it's best to experiment to see which produces the best results for you. Will Spooky 2 conflict with the EarthCam whole house protection system which is designed to reduce harmful EMF? Spooky Remote will be unaffected. It does not use EMF. When using a Spooky Remote with a magnet, what are recommended waveforms for healing frequencies? Square waves are recommended for most programs. This is also true for the original Spooky Remote with no magnet. Back to Content 17 which model Spooky Remote is this? MN or BN? Neither, it's an original VLO model, which came without any magnet. You can upgrade original models to VL1 either by sourcing your own magnet, or by obtaining an upgrade kit from SPOOKV2 Mall. Instructions for both procedures are given in the Spooky Remote VIL1 upgrade manual which you can download here. Can I still use Spooky Remote version 1.0 with Spooky 2? Yes, version 1.0 is fine although an upgrade will accelerate healing as magnets impart much more power. It depends on the condition. Serious problems like cancer, Lyme and others will certainly benefit from the extra power in the later version of Spooky Remote. The permanent magnet increases effectiveness enormously. The scalar waves instantly become non-localized. The magnetic field strength increases from 64 to a mass of 796,000 Rs per meter, an increase of more than 1,243,600%. Should I be pointing my remote to the north? No. Back to contents 18 How do I connect my Spooky remote with a color-coded Spooky Boost cable? Spooky 2 Spooky Boost Cable Blue Spooky Remote BN Spooky Extension Cable Connections for a Spooky Remote V1.1 Bio North BN Back to Contents 19 Connections for a Spooky Remote VIL1 Magnetic North MN Back to Contents Spooky Remote MN Spooky 2 4 Spooky Extension Cable TT Blue Spooky Boost Cable 20 How do I connect a Spooky Boost that's not color-coded? 
please consult the testing and configuration section of the Spooky 2 user's guide. What's the difference between Spooky Remote VIL 1BN and Spooky Remote VIL 1MN? The magnetic polarity, the red north needle of a compass faces the geographic north pole. The geographic north pole is magnetic south but is considered to be bio-north. Spooky Remote V1.1BN bio-north faces the DNA best for healing, will also kill pathogens parasites, but not quite as quickly as magnetic north. A waveform with a 100% duty square wave must light the negative LED of the remote. If your Spooky Boost cable has color coding, you must connect blue to OUT1, and red to OUT2. Spooky Remote V1.1MN Magnetic North faces the DNA best for destroying pathogens parasites, will also heal. Not recommended for long-term use in serious illnesses. A waveform with 100% duty square wave must light the top LED of the remote shown circled in red. If your Spooky Boost cable has color coding, you must connect red to OUT1, and blue to OUT2. In summary, use MN for short-term use killing pathogens, and BN for longer-term health support functions. Do you have to run the signal test every time you switch cables between Spooky Hand Cylinders and Spooky Remote? No. You may, however, wish to run a signal test if you swap Spooky Remotes between BioNorth and Magnetic North. Back to Contents 21 Why I Can't Find Spooky Remote V1.1 Inches My Package? Some people inadvertently throw their spooky remotes away, mistaking them for packing material. They're actually in the black and white foam packages. This is to avoid strong magnetic interference while shipping. Can I run a MN remote killing pathogens while at the same time running a BN remote for healing detox? Yes. We recommend this. The applied frequencies are different so they will not interfere with each other. My spooky remote makes a very high-pitched noise. Is this normal? The high-pitched sound is perfectly normal. If you are using a spooky remote V1.1, it will make these sounds when it runs frequencies lower than about 20,000 Hz. If you use spooky remote V1.0, there is no high-pitched noise at any frequency. What the advantages and weaknesses of spooky remote? Advantages you don't have to be in the same room as the machine, or even in the same country. It's hands-free and it can be used while sleeping. Disadvantages, not as fast as contact or plasma, but equally effective. Can fingernails from different people be mixed together? The fingernails can be together, but we strongly recommend keeping them separate in case one subject reacts badly unlikely but possible if the person is frequency sensitive. Also, subsequent treatments may be for individuals, not the group. Back to Contents 22 Does Spooky Remote work at the same efficiency no matter how far away the person is from the generator? Yes. Distance is irrelevant. Does anything happen if you have the machine turned on but no nail clippings on the remote? No. The DNA sample must be inside Spooky Remote for any results. Does anyone know of personal successes and or good research? There are plenty of success stories and research on the Spooky 2 form here. How do I put my fingernails in the Spooky remote? Make sure your fingernails are between the two green plates of the Spooky remote. Each Spooky remote can treat up to 50 people and or animals at once. Can you use frequencies with pets in the same room? Yes. Pets often like sleeping next to the remote. They seem to sense the healing energy. Inserting a tiny portion of their claws into the remote can heal animals very well. Inserting a dead flea or insect pest into the spooky remote can eliminate these from the household if you run a spectrum sweep over several days. Can I send a frequency set to my generator and then run it without the PC connected? No. Back to Contents 23 Can I run two spooky remotes white and black for two separate people using the same generator? Yes, you can, but the two people must be receiving the exact same frequency set. If you want to apply two different programs simultaneously, you need two generators. How can I check if my spooky remote is working properly? If the LEDs are illuminated, then your spooky remote is functioning correctly. 
The scientific aspects of Spooky Remote are covered at www.knet.com web link The Spooky 2 User's Guide has a chapter titled Understanding Remote. This clearly explains the behavior of the Spooky Remote's LEDs. Back to Contents 24 How can I reduce the noise from the Spooky Remotes? Method 1, place an empty polystyrene container upside down over the remote. Or you can line the cardboard box with polystyrene sheets or panels cut to fit, and use that instead. Back to Contents 25 Back to Contents Method 2, cut two rectangular pieces of foam for each remote and sandwich it between them. 26 Can I use scotch tape instead of masking tape? Yes. It does not matter if the tape is plastic or paper. We advise using paper tape, however, as early spooky pioneers felt the results were better. Can I use scotch tape instead of masking tape? Yes. Technically, it does not matter if the tape is plastic or paper. We do advise using paper tape though, because you can write each subject's initials on it. Early spooky pioneers also believed that the results were better. Some people refer to the different spooky remotes as killing or healing. Don't the black spooky remotes do both effectively? Both models will do both jobs, kill and heal. However, the black magnetic north model is more efficient at killing, while the white bio north model is best at healing. Is it normal for the white remote to have no light on whilst running? No, it is not normal. Either the settings of Spooky 2 are incorrect or the cables connecting your Spooky remote may need a little wiggle. Please refer to the Spooky 2 user's guide for more information on the correct settings. Can I treat multiple people at once, each with different issues? It will not cause harm, but we do not recommend it as good practice. However, if a pathogen isn't present in someone's body, frequencies to deal with it will simply pass straight through without effect. A spectrum sweep is one instance where different people with different ailments can be dealt with using the same remote. Back to Contents 27 Does the amount of nail clippings that you put in the remote matter? No. A tiny portion of one clipping is sufficient. Can you use hair in Spooky Remote? Yes, as long as it's attached to its root, which contains DNA, the hair shaft contains RNA. Fingernails are best because the DNA will not decay over time, but hair or any other DNA samples such as saliva on paper may be used. The user's guide shows both Spooky Remotes Vil 1M and MBN, but there's also one without a black or white pad. Is this the older model? Yes, the Spooky Remotes without pads are the original V1.0 models. If I get a 10M or 20M generator can I plug in more than two remotes? Each Spooky 2 generator can only have two Spooky Remotes maximum. There is no advantage in buying the 10M or 20M generators. Spooky 2 Accessories What is the Spooky Boost cable used for? It increases the power of the generator by a factor of 4. Back to Contents 28 Will I be able to connect two remotes to the boost cable? No. Is it possible to connect four outputs with two boost cables with two remote? Yes. Do your TENS cables use the industry standard 2mm pin size? Yes. Can I use Spooky Boost cables with the Spooky hand cylinders? Yes. This is recommended to increase the power. Also select Inverse Plus Ink and tick the Reduce Amplitude checkbox. The amplitude should be set to 14-20 volts. Do you use the boost cable for both Spooky hand cylinders and Spooky remote? Yes. Are cables already supplied to connect Spooky hand cylinders to the generator? Yes. We recommend purchasing Spooky Boost cables to increase the power to the Spooky hand cylinders. Back to Contents 29 Do you need to use damp or dry paper toweling with Spooky hand cylinders? Use damp towels. When using Spooky 2, can you increase or decrease the intensity with the generator knob when holding the stainless steel tubes? Example, if the frequency is too intense, can I turn the knob to decrease it? Yes but it is not intuitive. It is best to make the setting using the software. After performing a biofeedback scan I cannot see any results. Make sure that you first quit Spooky 2 before you connect Spooky Pulse so that the software can register its presence on the PC's USB system. If you don't do this, 
the scan will be performed in emulation mode. This means that the reported results are not based on reality, and so saving is disabled. What does Spooky Pulse do? Spooky Pulse turns your Spooky 2 setup into a powerful biofeedback scanner capable of creating individualized treatment programs. It uses an ear clip or a finger clip to record your pulse rate during a frequency scan. After a scan Spooky 2 can create a treatment program that is tailor-made specially for you. Spooky Pulse can also run without a generator. Many people use this as a means of detecting truthful statements, much like muscle testing. Why is there an option of a finger clip with Spooky Pulse? The ear clip may not work for all people. Skin types and ear piercings all have an effect on results. For people who find the ear clips inaccurate or painful after long use, we offer a finger clip. Back to Contents 30 Is there any information explaining the use of Spooky Pulse? Please visit our Vimeo channel here. The Spooky Pulse manual can be read online here, or downloaded here. A two-page cheat sheet is available online here, or the four-page quick start guide can be downloaded here. Do any other programs work with Spooky Pulse? No. Spooky Pulse was designed specially for Spooky 2. Can Spooky 2 simply view the heartbeat without performing a scan? Spooky can monitor the pulse without applying any frequencies by clicking on the pulse graph the data is logged to a file. Why does Spooky Pulse sometimes report a data error? Spooky Biofeedback determines the body's response to applied frequencies. At times these frequencies interfere with the sensitive electronics built into Spooky Pulse. Spooky can filter out most of the unwanted signals, but occasionally there are too many to filter out, and an error message is reported. Data is regarded as erroneous if the HRV is greater than 20 between two heartbeats. If the error message is reported Spooky 2 will disregard the data but will automatically recover on the next heartbeat. An option in the advanced menu can double this tolerance. We strongly recommend that people relax as much as possible when using Spooky Pulse for scanning. How long is the extended cable? The main cable is 90 cm long, and the individual cables are 100 cm long. Back to Contents 31 How long is the TENS cable? The main cable is 200 cm long, and the individual cables are 100 cm long. Are Spooky TENS pads effective for bioresonance treatments? Yes. This is their function. Can I use the TENS pad and Spooky hand cylinders anywhere on the body? TENS pads can be used anywhere the skin is not too hairy, sensitive, or damaged. It is best to use higher frequencies. Start with short sessions to make sure your skin is not damaged through electrolysis. Be very careful of any application above the neck. Keep treatment times short, especially for high power levels. Is the wrist a good location or should it be more specific to the problem area? The inside of the wrist should be not be used as it is a very sensitive area and veins are directly under the skin. For a practical guide, please see the biofeedback scanning section of the Spooky 2 user's guide. Can the TENS pads be reused? Yes. They can be used for as long as they remain sticky. After each use you can stick them onto the plastic sheet that they originally came with. Back to Contents 32 Can fleece socks be used over spooky hand cylinders for contact use? Yes. Make sure the socks are very damp before use. What is the advantage of TENS pads? They are ideal for long treatments. Holding metal tubes can get tiresome after a while. Spooky 2 Biofeedback Are TENS pads better than spooky hand cylinders for biofeedback sessions? Biofeedback requires lying down for long periods while resting. TENS pads allow the subject to relax properly. Is the biofeedback data only for killing? No. Biofeedback detects the state of stress of your body. When your body is healing it is more relaxed, so you would set the biofeedback to detect BPM minimums. How often should I run a biofeedback scan? Some people use biofeedback as the treatment. A program is loaded, and the biofeedback is used to make the treatment more accurate. As the generator is applying the frequencies the person is also being treated with increasingly accurate resolution. 
after the biofeedback scan the treatment has already been done. Back to contents 33 every time I try to run a biofeedback scan I get a data error after a minute or so. The red LED on the pole starts to blink intensively and the error occurs. I've tried everything I can think of. Any idea why this happens? A blinking red LED indicates a power supply issue to Spooky Pulse. The cable may not be inserted properly into Spooky Pulse. Back to contents 34 after my first biofeedback session my save button was disabled. Why? This indicates that the biofeedback was performed in emulation mode. This mode is enabled whenever Spooky Pulse is not detected by Spooky 2. Go into the advanced menu and view the connected devices. You should see Spooky Pulse listed at the top before your generators. If not, you may need to check your Spooky Pulse cables and restart Spooky 2. How often should I run a biofeedback scan? For chronic conditions, a scan may be performed weekly and its results saved and applied daily in contact mode, or continuously in remote mode. For less serious ailments, some people use biofeedback as the treatment. A program is loaded, and the biofeedback is used to make it more accurate. As the generator is applying the frequencies the person is also being treated with increasingly accurate resolution. After the biofeedback scan the treatment has already been done. So after a biofeedback scan is treatment necessary? The biofeedback scan has already done the treatment. The same frequencies can be used for subsequent treatments. Why are my biofeedback scan results different every time? A biofeedback scan applies full power to the body to detect any biological response. When the body reacts, the AHRV rises. Because many frequencies are being applied at this power, many viruses are actually being hit and killed. If the same frequencies are found in subsequent runs it would mean that the treatment is not destroying the germs. Many people load a frequency set for a known condition, then use biofeedback on those frequencies, using a defined number of decimal places. Spooky will cover the database frequencies many times as he goes back and resembles the frequencies at ever higher resolutions. Thus the biofeedback scan is being used as a treatment. Back to contents 35 I keep getting a data error when I try to run the scan. Spooky 2 biofeedback determines the body's response to applied frequencies. At times these frequencies interfere with the sensitive electronics built into Spooky Pulse. Spooky 2 can filter out most of the unwanted signals, but occasionally there are too many to filter out, and an error message is reported. Data is regarded as erroneous if the HRV is greater than 20 between two heartbeats. If the error message is reported Spooky 2 will disregard the data but will automatically recover on the next heartbeat. The advanced menu has an option of doubling the tolerance of HRV. We strongly recommend that people fully relax when using Spooky Pulse for biofeedback scans as this makes the data more reliable. Spooky 2 General My father has a pacemaker. I've been told that rife machines shouldn't be used in these cases. Any advice? This is true of rife machines that only use electrodes, and the problem arises because the electrical energy entering the body can interfere with the pacemaker's electronics. Consequently, it will also arise if you use spooky 2 inches contact mode, so please don't. Remote mode doesn't transmit electricity, however, so it's quite safe. In my household, we all seem to get colds and flu at the same time. Is it possible to use Spooky 2 with everyone at once? Or do we all have to take turns? If you're using the Spooky remote transmitter, you should be able to use 5 or 6 specimens as long as you make sure that each one is small, that is cut each fingernail into 3 or 4 segments and use just one segment from each subject. Remember, DNA is microscopic, so even the tiniest sliver is sufficient. Back to contents 36 with a home MD DNA holder, up to 20 different DNA samples can be inserted. But cut each fingernail in three and only use one part for each subject. Wrap each part separately in paper masking tape, write each subject's initials on the tape, and insert them carefully between the two metal or foil strips. Then place the frequency generator or a book glass ashtray on top of the DNA holder to provide a weight so that the two strips are pushed as close together as possible. 
Does Spooky 2 work like a zapper? No, although it can if you wish. Spooky 2 was designed to function as a rife machine. Most zappers work by mixing together a number of set frequencies that can be changed by the user. Others, like Spooky 2 inches zapper mode, use a fixed frequency, a prescribed voltage of 9-9.5 volts, 100% offset, a square wave, and prescribed frequency durations followed by set rest periods. As a result, a very large range of harmonics is produced, not all of them good for you. Long-term use of any zapper may damage the beneficial flora, just as a broad-spectrum antibiotic kills all bacteria, friendly ones included. This is true also of the spooky spectrum type sweeps. When running these sweeps, or using spooky 2 inches zapper mode, we strongly recommend that you replenish beneficial microflora with live natural foods rather than factory-made supplements. Best for this are homemade kefir, kimchi, pickles, or any fermented foods. King of them all is sauerkraut, 2 tablespoons daily. Remember, friendly flora constitute up to 70% of the immune system. So please keep them topped up. When not being used as a zapper, Spooky 2, like all rife machines, allows exact selection of the frequencies required. Can Spooky 2 help with named condition? Please download the database program's AZ document from here. This shows all conditions addressed by Spooky2. Back to contents 37 Is it okay if I use Spooky hand cylinders with one generator and tens pads on my legs using another generator with different frequencies? Yes, it's fine. Many Rife practitioners do this. Do I need a carrier wave for contact mode healing, or is a carrier just for killing? A carrier wave can be used for both applications, as it enables a low frequency to penetrate cells and reach deep organs. Further details can be found here, www.spooky2.com web link does detoxing wipe you out? I've noticed that every time I detox I get really tired and sleepy. Is that normal? Detoxing will make you tired if your body has a lot of toxins to expel or your eliminatory organs are not functioning fully. What is the range of harmful frequencies? The rumor mill says there are a few low frequencies which are harmful, but some of these are used in important sets that seem to work without harmful effect. Very high frequencies are harmful because the photon energy is greater, and they have enough energy to knock electrons away from the atoms. These are much higher than the frequencies we use in Spooky 2. As a general rule, frequencies above those of visible light are usually harmful. However, Spooky has the ability to avoid transmitting certain frequencies. Some people blacklist 1840, 1910, and 802. Do I need to install a database into Spooky? No. There is already a database in your Spooky 2 software. However, if you have another database in the correct CSV format, back to contents 38 Spooky 2 allows you to select and load it if desired. I want to buy a starter kit for myself and my partner. Will one generator be enough, or do we need two? Can you please advise me? If two people have two different sets of conditions, it's much more efficient to have two generators, one for each person. Is this machine FDA approved? No Rife machine on earth is FDA approved. However, they are routinely used in Germany, South Africa, and some Eastern European countries. Can Spooky get rid of ants? Sacrifice an ant and insert it into a Spooky remote. Run a spectrum sweep. Soon all the ants from that same colony will be gone. In the Spooky 2 database, there are minerals such as calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, etc. What are these? These frequencies emulate the same reaction as if you had these elements in your body. Are there any other frequencies for Q10 coenzyme? glutathione, ginkgo biloba etc? No. These are complex compounds, not elements. Back to contents 39 How long should I run treatments? Most programs can be run 24-7. There are many instruction manuals available from our downloads page here. Is the number at the beginning of the frequency file the number for the pathogen? Lime is at the bottom of the page with these long numbers. Many conditions have more than one frequency set, so they need to be numbered. 
Each frequency set in the database also has a number that comes after the set's name. It's not displayed in Spooky 2S interface, but you can see it if you open the CSV file in Notepad. This is a single run duration of the set in minutes. How long does the Spooky apply each frequency? Is it 3 minutes? I read it somewhere but can't find it now. The default application time dwell for most treatments is 180 seconds or 3 minutes. Some frequencies require a much longer dwell. Can you help me understand the difference between scalar and octal sub-equal harmonics? Octal sub-harmonics are a way of targeting very high frequencies using lower frequencies. Scalar subharmonics are an experimental method of doing the same thing, but the results have not been proven by our experiments. Spooky does not recognize any generators after upgrading the software. We always recommend installing a new version of Spooky 2 over the old version, without any uninstalling first. If your generators are not recognized by Spooky 2, you will be prompted to reinstall your driver. Answer yes. Back to contents 40 why the generator frequency is different from the frequency displayed on the computer? Some waveforms contain several subwaves. For a full explanation please see here. What is the difference between the Spooky Spectrum Sweep and Spooky Converge Sweep? Please read the user's guide section entitled Appendix B, Spectrum's Story for a full explanation of the different modes of Spectrum Sweeps. How long do Spectrum Sweeps take and how often should they be run? The Spectrum Sweep in the Spooky database takes a little more than 4 hours. For remote treatments, we would not run a Spectrum Sweep more than twice a day. Does Spectrum work on UDB? No. Please see here. Is there a FB page for support? Yes. The Spooky 2 Rife for Life group was set up for support and general discussion of all matters about Spooky 2. Why in the world would you name something intended to help people spooky? Albert Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. Modern physics calls it quantum entanglement. It means that if any back to contents 41 part of a single system is removed from that system to a different location, any action performed on the part will also be instantaneously performed on the parent system, and vice versa. Spooky got his name from Einstein's famous saying. How does Spooky actually work? It all sounds unbelievable. Spooky uses the principles of quantum physics and the antenna properties of DNA to transmit through what physicists call non-local space. You don't have to be in the same room as the machine, or even in the same country. Please visit our Facebook or Scene.is pages or our forum for a more thorough explanation. I downloaded the latest Spooky 2, loaded the frequencies I wanted, and clicked on the available channel, but the start button is grayed out. All frequency fields are blank. Also, why do my program settings change each time I select a channel to run? You have to tick the overwrite channel settings box to overwrite the previous program for each channel generator. Why is the manual in the package different from the user's guide on the Spooky2 website? The manual provided with each order is an abbreviated quick guide. The Spooky 2 user's guide is much more detailed. If frequencies can damage cells like harmful bacteria, can they also damage other body cells? No. Human cells all function together. Dipping your finger into water will not make you drown because other cells and systems provide necessary oxygen and nutrients. Human cells, though living, are all constituents of a larger being that support each other. Back to Contents 42 Spooky 2 Setups Biofeedback Muscle Test and Truth Detection, the requirement for this is one Spooky Pulse alone. This is available in finger clip and ear clip versions. In all cases, we recommend the finger clip unit for comfort, reliability, and ease of use. Details are here. Minimal Spooky 2 Rig, this requires one Spooky 2-5M generator and one spooky remote V1.1 bio north transmitter. Generator details are here. Spooky remote details are here. Spooky 2 starters kit, this contains one generator with spare USB communications board, two spooky remote V1.1 transmitters bio north and magnetic north, one spooky boost output mixing cable, one spooky pulse finger clip ear clip.
one set of spooky hand cylinders, one tens pads kit 20 sticky pad electrodes, one tens cable, and one extended cable for hand cylinders. Details are here. Spooky 2 Essential Kit contains the minimum setup required to tackle cancers, Lyme disease, and Morgellons disease. Back to contents 43 This comprises two generators with two spare USB communications boards, three Spooky Remote V1.1 transmitters, two Bio North and one Magnetic North, two Spooky Boost Output Mixing Cables, one Spooky Pulse Finger Clip Ear Clip, one set of Spooky Hand Cylinders, one TENS Pads Kit 20 Sticky Pad Electrodes, one TENS Cable, and one Extended Cable for Hand Cylinders. Details are here. Spooky 2 Advanced Kit contains our recommended setup for dealing with cancers, Lyme disease, and Morgellons disease. This comprises four generators with four spare USB communications boards, five Spooky Remote V1.1 transmitters, four Bio North and one Magnetic North, four Spooky Boost Output Mixing Cables, one Spooky Pulse Finger Clip Ear Clip, one set of Spooky Hand Cylinders, one TENS Pads Kit 20 Sticky Pad Electrodes, one TENS Cable, and one extended cable for hand cylinders. Details are here. Why do I need multiple generators for certain problems? You don't. In contact mode, a single generator will function fine as a superior rife machine, and if you've elected to get a spooky remote, you'll have the enormous benefit of being able to run certain programs round the clock. However, since it's been reliably shown that the same program administered remotely takes 10-20 times as long to produce the same effect as one administration using hand cylinders dependent on the task, this means that you will need to spend a great deal of time wired up to the machine. Here's why, back to contents 44 cancers, you'd be forgiven for believing that dealing with this condition involves nothing more than destroying cancer cells. But this is not true. And if you simply proceeded on this basis alone, you could end up in deep trouble. Rife frequencies rupture cancer cells, allowing them to release their toxic contents into the body. These toxins and other cell debris must be eliminated as quickly as possible. This is the job of the eliminatory system, the liver and kidney, and our first task is to physically shift the corrosive material into the system. This is called detoxification, or detox for short. So that's two jobs instead of one. However, because serious illness almost always causes problems with the proper functioning of the eliminatory system, a very high toxic burden can be life-threatening unless it's dealt with responsibly. So you need to support the liver and kidneys to help them deal with processing overload. This is called system support, or support for short. Now you've got three jobs rather than just two. Finally, there's pain to deal with or some people suffer with nausea or other cancer-related problems. So the single job you may have believed was sufficient to deal with cancer turns out to be four or more jobs, all of which must be done daily. With a spooky two starters kit, you would need to spend 4-6 hours a day tailored to the generator holding hand cylinders, or with tens pads stuck to your body. This would very quickly become exceedingly tedious and the temptation would always be there to skip a contact mode session or two. Not a good idea. With a spooky 2 essential kit, and two generators, things become a lot easier. One generator can be running detox and or support programs remotely non-stop, while you use the other for a few daily hand cylinder sessions, then switch it to remote mode. A suggested battle plan is contained in the document Spooky 2x2 Cancers Guide 1.1, downloadable here. The Spooky 2 Advanced Kit comes with four generators, and this is what we currently recommend. As with the Essential Kit, one generator is used for a couple of contact mode sessions daily, then switched to remote operation. The other three units run remote detox and support, adjunct cell destruction in remote mode, transmit pain frequencies, or take care of anything else that's needed. A suggested battle plan is contained in the document Spooky 2x4 Cancers Guide 1.0, downloadable here. This is easier to manage, and more remote transmission means you can benefit from rife while having a pretty normal life. Back to contents 45 Lyme and Morgellons, both of these are cross-phylum multi-agent multi-system diseases. Breathtakingly, 
chronic Lyme and Morgellons are solemnly pronounced to be imaginary conditions by the medical establishment, despite the wealth of physical evidence to the contrary. The first thing to know about multi-agent diseases is that their elements all interact and cooperate with one another. So what you get is not multiple separate infections but a group infection by a community whose members work together synergistically, making the whole disease greater than the sum of its parts. This pathogenic community is able to share information with one another through a process called quorum sensing, and they also have the ability to swap fragments of their own DNA in order to pass on treatment resistance to other community members. Because of this, Morgellons and Lyme are very special cases that require a different riffing approach. A spooky two-starters kit will help, but it's not going to solve the problem very quickly. It can take two years or more of multiple daily contact sessions, and while the additional 24 7 remote mode use can shave some time off that, it's still a huge job to tackle while you're very ill. An essential kit is a much better proposition, although it will still involve multiple contact sessions adjuncted with remote. Best of all is the advanced kit because while one generator is on permanent detox support duty, each of the other three can tackle two or three co-infections each in remote mode 24-7. Daily contact sessions should also be done, but because of the support from the other generators, not as many will be required. The Morgellons protocol document provides a plan of battle, and is downloadable here. We are currently drawing up a strategy for Lyme, and when this is done, you'll find it on our website downloads page. Note. We are fully aware that these are difficult times, and that some may not have the means to buy what they need right now. However, there's nothing to stop anyone from building up the rig they need by adding items over time. If you request shipping by post, you can greatly reduce the cost of repeated shipments. Back to Contents 46 Spooky 2 Glossary Amplitude, Amplitude is the total height of the wave being measured from the top peak to the neutral or zero. Here. We measure amplitude in volts, which describes the potential or electrical tension between the peak and zero. Amplitude as well as frequency applies to all the waves we are dealing with. Alternating current AC, represented by a sine wave, is changing amplitude and direction from negative to positive every half a cycle. Carrier waves, a carrier radio frequency is used to carry the audio frequencies are healing frequencies to the target, causing them to penetrate the appear. RF radio frequencies above about 200,000 Hz broadcasts very well, which is why they are called radio frequencies. Frequencies between 20,000 Hz and 200,000 Hz broadcast to some degree, while frequencies below 20,000 Hz don't broadcast at all. Duty cycle, duty cycle is how long the wave is on and off when running a frequency. A duty cycle of 50% means that the wave is on for 50% of its cycle, and off for the remaining 50%. Some rifers believe that to achieve the highest success rate, odd harmonics should be generated with a particular duty cycle he ratio or relationship expressed as a percentage of the amount of time an individual cycle or phase is on to the amount of time it is off. Back to contents 47 dwell, dwell is the duration in time of each frequency. If you press the horn on your car for 2 minutes, the dwell will be 120 seconds. A short honk for half a second will mean the dwell is 0.5. Each frequency in a set will be transmitted for the set's default dwell. Note that individual frequencies in a set may have their own custom dwells assigned. Frequency, this is the number of times a waveform pattern repeats every second. The units of measurement are in cycles per second CPS or Hertz Hertz, but the term Hertz is most commonly used today. Gate, gating simply turns the output signal on and off for per set durations, adjustable in the Spooky 2 settings. One example would be 4 Hz 4 times a second, which is the default setting. The rate speed of the gate is half the refresh rate, which is adjustable in the advanced menu. Therefore 8 entered as the refresh rate will produce a 4 Hz gate. Some rifers feel that pathogens can become too accustomed to frequencies and then adapt to overcome the effect of the signal. With the gate pulsing on and off, the theory is that the signal variance prevents this from happening. Harmonics, a harmonic of a wave is a component frequency of the signal that is an integer multiple of the fundamental main frequency. Different waves have different multiples. 
square waves have odd integer multiples, that is the harmonic frequencies will be 3xf, 5xf, 7xf, etc., where f equal the fundamental frequency. Back to contents 48 to take an example, if the fundamental frequency of a square wave is 100 Hz, the frequencies of the next harmonics are 300 Hz first harmonic, 500 Hz second harmonic, 700 Hz third harmonic, etc. Hertzheimer reaction, a rife machine will have no side effects, but may create a healing crisis, otherwise known as a Hertzheimer reaction, a detoxification response. Excessively large amounts of microbial or cancer cell waste and toxins into the body's ability to adequately eliminate it through the usual channels break down by the liver, through the colon or urinary tract. So instead, the toxic material is discharged through the lungs, sinuses and skin. Symptoms can include a flu-like condition, heavy perspiration and night sweats, fever, with or without chills, headaches, malaise, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting pain in joints and bones, and itching, flushing, and reddening of skin. MOR's mortal oscillatory rates the frequency rate at which a particular pathogen or target is resonant to the point of devitalization or destruction, or an organ or system is stimulated to bring about an overall beneficial effect via frequency entrainment. Offset, this is the imbalance between positive and negative peaks in reference to neutral or zero. Offsetting the signal from zero neutral means moving the waveform into the positive or negative region. You can visualize this by imagining horizontal X and vertical Y axis with sine wave crossing X. If both peaks are an equal distance magnitude from the X axis, then offset is zero. Back to contents 49 if we apply a positive DC offset to a sine wave, the wave will shift upwards, refer to the graphic below. Offset can have either positive or negative value. II plus offset 90% zero offset illustrated resonance, when one object is vibrating at the same natural resonant frequency of a second object, it forces that second object also into sympathetic vibrational motion. So if there are two similar objects, and one of them is vibrating, the other will begin to vibrate as well, even if they are not touching. A good example is two identical tuning forks. If you tap one of these forks on a hard surface so that it rings, its vibrations will pass through the air and cause the other tuning fork to vibrate. The energy from the first tuning fork has been transferred to the second tuning fork. Back to contents 50 Rife contact device, these physically connect to the body via hand electrodes, foot pates, foot tubs, or tense pads. Electric current carries the audio frequencies into the body to cause vibration and resonance. These devices transfer their energy through the skin and have some limitations as regards full body penetration. Since the body is a semiconductor with approximately 1 million ohms of resistance, penetration of contact energy is somewhat limited unless a radio carrier is also used. Do not use a contact device if you are wearing a pacemaker or have a heart condition. Right Plasma Bulb Output Device a plasma device uses a tube similar to a fluorescent lighting tube which works as an antenna and transmits the frequencies using both electromagnetic energy and photons. This causes resonance or vibration of one or more of the components of a targeted pathogen and brings about its devitalization. Sine wave, a gentle undulating waveform that appears most often in nature. Useful for healing applications. A sine doesn't contain any harmonics. Square wave. What should be noted here is the exceptionally fast rise time and fall time also known as decay. Rise time is the front or leading edge of the square wave. The fall time is the trailing edge of the waveform. Back to contents 51 inches of theoretical world, the rise and fall times would be zero, or instantaneous. The square waveform is chosen above all others because of this unique time characteristic. It is believed that most pathogens mutate and eventually become used to or immune to waveforms with slow rise times or decays. Square wave, having a sharp rise and decay, is believed to be more effective and harder for microorganisms to adapt to. Thus, square wave is used for killing pathogens and sine wave is used for regeneration and healing. It should be noted, however, that square waves have also been used for healing and found to be effective. Sweep. A sweep can be compared to the windshield wipers in your car. 
they start from one position and move to the other. Both points can be referred to as starting and ending frequencies, depending on the direction of the sweep. There is one more variable here which determines how slow or fast such a sweep goes as it moves in incremental or decremental steps. Thesis steps are increments by which a sweep progresses. If this value is 1 Hz, then the sweep will proceed in 1 Hz steps, egg 292, 293-294, and so on. Triangle wave. The triangle wave contains some harmonics, the majority of which are clustered close to the fundamental frequency. Almost all of the wave's power is within this cluster. Waveform. A waveform is simply a graphical plot of amplitude or relative amount of energy voltage in this case over time. The amplitude, or power, is typically displayed on the vertical scale, and time on the horizontal scale. Back to Contents 52 Spooky 2 thanks the Spooky 2 forum team, past and present, who work tirelessly every day to answer members' questions. Argerios Argeropoulos Keith Body Gwen Burley David Halliday John M. Kane Manuel Malo Jodron Morgan White Told Pavlovsky Linda Ray Brian Yamamoto Our fantastic admin teams who keep users happy on Facebook, LinkedIn, Scene.is, and our two Yahoo groups. The Spooky2 and other Foreman group members who always ask interesting questions and often provide answers. Last, but far from least, the people without whom there would be no Spooky2, Echo Lee John White back to Contents 53 Legal Notice and Disclaimer The Spooky 2 software and frequency generation system is not approved by the FDA as a medical device. It is intended for use as an experimental electronic device only. It is not intended for the diagnosis, prevention, cure, treatment, or mitigation of any disease or illness in human beings. Neither is it designed or intended to affect the function or structure of any human body system. I, John White, make no medical claims whatsoever for the Spooky 2 Frequency Generation System. If you have a problem with your health, please consult a licensed healthcare professional. In the US, you can legally use frequency systems like Spooky 2 for testing, energy balancing, life extension, and relaxation. You can experiment using frequencies on bacterial cultures, laboratory animals, and yourself. For what it's worth, you still have a legal right to self-medicate under the Ninth Amendment of the United States Constitution. In Germany and South Africa, as well as some other nations, frequency devices are legally licensed as medical instruments. Please note that neither I, John White, nor any of my associates involved in the design and development of this system are responsible whatsoever for the use, abuse, or misuse, intentionally or unintentionally, of the Spooky 2 frequency generation system or any of its component parts due to any circumstances beyond our reasonable control. In any case, I, John White, or any of my associates, shall have no other liability. By using the Spooky 2 frequency generation system, you, the user, understand and accept that you have no expectation of curing any ailment. You also understand that possible negative physical and or mental effects, unknown to John White or his associates, might result from the use of the Spooky 2 frequency generation system. Moreover, you intend to undertake only responsible experimentation, and you voluntarily accept all responsibility for the use and application of all frequencies generated by the Spooky 2 system. Furthermore, you agree that you will not hold John White or associates responsible for any consequences, whether harmful or otherwise, that may occur as a result of using the Spooky 2 frequency generation system. Back to Contents 54.